In this video we're going to be looking at the hacker's dream language or the ideal programming language that every experienced programmer would love to write with. It's based on a book uh, called Hackers and Painters from uh, uh, Paul Graham. Um, the first characteristic of such a language would be that it has a clean and terse syntax. So everything in the language has a purpose. Uh, you never have to write unnecessary characters or whatnot. Um, you don't even have to use a shift key that much anymore for curly braces. Um, so everything has a purpose in the language. It has a, a quick startup, so you can start development right away. You don't need to do, to download um, runtime environments like for Java or anything in the background that has to run for you to program. Um, it comes loaded with the operating system. You can uh, develop a first version of your program fairly quickly, uh, depending on how hard the problem is, of course. And uh, so, so, like, your first prototype could be out in no time. This is something really important about that language. It allows you to develop, so you have an idea, you can put it into uh, uh, your programming language, and then it's out right away. You have a first prototype ready to work with. And then later on, if you want to optimize that prototype, you have a profiler that's offered with the language, and uh, it allows you to optimize your program. So, basically, basically it would allow you to identify the uh, bottlenecks in your program and tell you exactly uh, where in your program it's, it's running slowly and where you have to focus your attention on. <coughs> um, uh, the first thing is that it's a well-documented language in a, a very thin manual, so there are no extraneous information. And one important thing it, ha it has is that uh, uh, the, the manual is full of really good examples. And this allows you to pick up the language really quickly. Um, it has a small core, this defines the language, and it comes with highly orthogonal libraries. So the libraries don't have overlapping functions. Every library is specific in its function and, and uh, operation and doesn't overlap on other libraries. And there's nothing that's retained just for uh, um, compatibility purposes or whatnot. Um, the language is a layered language, so you have the uh, high abstractions up top that are really powerful and allow you to write programs really uh, fast. And there are the the low abstractions, which you can see, uh, which you can uh, observe through the uh, high abstractions. So the high abstractions are are, are pretty much uh, transparent. You uh, you can actually you can just d decide to use the high abstractions if you want, and uh, your code will be really really short. Or you can decide to look into the high abstractions and how they work, and and uh, work with the low level uh, parts of the language. And then finally, uh, this brings us to the last point. A, uh, the programming language is not only open source, it's also open design. The, the hacker is an equal participant in the design of the language. Whatever they add to the libraries is considered to be as uh, 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 valuable as whatever comes predefined with the language originally.